is corrupted. This is corrupt, corrupt, corrupted nation with Joe Cronin. Hey, what's up, everybody? Everybody remembers Air, uh, American Pie. Um, well, it's uh, I guess it's the 20 year anniversary, which I have my own little story about this movie as it is, but um. You know, of course, of course, the 20 year anniversary, instead of coming out and being like, this is great. This is wonderful. Remember, American Pie was so crazy. It was insane back then. Uh, it was wonderful. But now instead of that, we have articles like this. American Pie star Shannon Elizabeth. By the way, was she the one that played Nadia? Because if she is, I mean, she was like the least important one, but she was like the one that got the most attention at the time. You remember that? Yeah, Shannon Elizabeth's the one that played Nadia. She got the most attention, but she, like, really kind of sucked compared to it. She was just the eye candy. No one cared, really, to me. I know, like, people are like, oh, God, she's hot. At the time, I didn't really... I could have put any girl in that position. You could have been any hot chick in the Nadia position. It wouldn't have mattered to me. So, like, to me, that was... The whole thing was stupid anyway. Um, but, yeah, now, now it's like, oh, it hasn't... The movie hasn't aged well and all these things. And, um... Other people saying just ridiculous things, of course, like you would expect, just bashing it. A lot of people forgetting the fact that they made an American Pie 4, like I think five years ago now or something like that. It wasn't even that long ago that American Pie 4 came out. You had people like this. Um, American uh, went to see Book Smart movie last night. It's more interesting in comparing how teen comedies have changed since American Pie. It's sexy with some fantastic dirty jokes, but has so much more heart and all these other things and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then just people bashing American Pie and then comparing it to the, these like book smart or like whatever these movies are now. It's like, dude, American Pie was never smart. It was, I mean, for the most part, it was always ridiculous. It was always a raunchy comedy. You can't even compare them. Um, you know, before we had American Pie, we had movies from the 80s, like teen movies from the 80s, like Breakfast Club and shit like that. That's what that's what we started with. Does anybody remember this? We started in the 80s and even in the in most of the 90s with these sort of like dramatic teen movies, coming of age, sex stories like or, or movies about finding whatever the hell crap. And it was all like like that. It was all very more serious and stuff like that. It wasn't until the late 90s that American Pie came out and said fuck all that. Fuck all the like like the deep talk and the my dad beats me and all these things like forget all that deep drama stuff and the stuff that was more serious the guy fucks a pie the guy fucking fucks a pie so like it's so weird that they're coming out now and they're like american pie movie was was big horny and extremely problematic oh american pie was problematic i watched american pie this person says look at this I watched American Pie tonight for the first time in like 20 years. Holy fuck is that film problematic. And they don't mean like problematic like it's full of like plot holes and stuff like that. They mean like, oh man, this is really not good. This is really bad. No shit, Sherlock. That was the point of the movie. Dude, at the time it was like that. At the time people were like... There was some parents, I think, that let their kids see it that just didn't even know how bad it was. But anybody who knew what the movie was going to be about wouldn't let their kids see it. At the time, I snuck into the movie theater. What was I? Uh, I was about 15 years old. I think I was 15 when American Pie came out. We snuck into the movie theater. Or 14. I might have been younger. Yeah, I might have been 14. We snuck into the goddamn movie theater to see it. And I'll never forget it, man. It was the summer we met these three girls, and there was three of us, so three boys, three girls. It worked out. And uh, a little bit later on, we planned a, a date to go hang out with them, and all our parents agreed it was okay. So we all hung out with them in Somerville, Massachusetts. I will never forget these girls, never forget this time. It is indelibly etched into my mind. It was one of those fun summer moments type of thing. I can't believe all our parents let us uh, go uh, hang out with these girls and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. But uh, anyway, we were going to go see a movie in the movie theater, and we had to buy the ticket to the movie. And then we just went into the American Pie movie and got away with it. And uh, it was fucked up. The movie is fucked up, man. It is so ridiculous. Um, now, the first movie actually has the most heart, right? Like the band geek and, and the singing and the chorus and, you know, stri awe striker, like, like deciding to choose the woman over his uh, football team or lacrosse team or whatever. Like, it's like the lamest one to me because after, after it hasn't aged as well because it's more like cheesy. 
But then the, the the other ones just start getting into what everybody likes, which is the ridiculous sort of raunchy stuff. And it focused more on Stifler after that because Stifler just became such a star. So, like, you know, this girl being all pissed off, Shannon Elizabeth or whatever, it's like, I mean, yeah, this is an iconic scene. I mean, dude, the webcam and leaving the webcam on the girl. I mean, I, I what people are talking about is, is, you know, back then webcams were new and, like, you didn't know what you could do and all these type of things. But nowadays, you know, people are watching this and like, oh, my God, this guy put a fucking webcam on his girlfriend while she's changing or some girl while she's changing. And they're all sends it around to the entire school and everybody's jerking off to it. Like, I mean, but, you know, it's just like, dude, this this movie, like to compare it to like this new whatever this book smart movie is they're talking about. I don't even know to compare it to that is retarded. Like, it's not even close. It's not. I'm assuming it's not close. You know what I mean? I'm assuming almost every movie about teenagers with a little bit of sex or something like that in it or sex talk or adult talk or whatever in the movies, I am assuming that no matter what the movie is, it's going to be probably more um, mature than American Pie. In all, like, like, this isn't even a slight or a slam. Like, they think it's a slam or a slight. They're like, oh, your generation's movies, whatever. It's like, well, yeah, but while this was going on, there was a million other teen comedies, teen dramas and comedies that were out that weren't American Pie. So, the like these people are crazy. They're like, oh God, back in the 90s, things were just fucking crazy and people were putting dicks in pies and videotaping their girlfriend's pussies and broadcasting it over the internet. No, you fucking idiot. How about these fucking movies, you dumb fucking morons? There's American Pie. It's got to be the worst one. Ten Things I Hate About You? How about Ten Things I Hate About You? Is that a movie where everybody just shows their dick? No. Ten Things I Hate About You. Can't Hardly Wait. She's All That. Dazed and Confused if you want to go into that. Um, I mean, Never Been Kissed. Like, stuff like that. Those are all like way more smart drama type movies without all the sex fucking and weird pervert stuff that's in American Pie. American Pie was made for the pervert stuff, but they want to erase it and tell you like, oh, this is all there was. Dude, Amer like, make no mistake about it. American Pie was supposed to push the envelope and make you be like, this is fucked up. This is fucked up. That's why people went to see American Pie. Because they went, this is fucked up. That's why we saw it. And that's why it became a huge hit. That's why people, like, once they heard about it, they were like, this guy fucks a pie. Like, all this stuff, you gotta see the stupid movie. And everybody went to see it. But they act now like it's a surprise. Like, oh, God, there's so many problems with it. There's supposed to be problems, you fucking idiots. God damn, this generation, you are fucking... There may not be any babies anymore. This generation is full of loser idiots. Like, seriously, these people are crybaby loser idiots, and potentially they uh, they need to go away. They need to go away. Man, I was whacking off the Pink Floyd The Wall far before this movie came out. I didn't even think Nadia was hot. I like the band girl. Who's the band geek? What's her face? I thought she was wicked hot. I was, like, wicked into the band girl. And that was before she was like, I'll put a flute in my pussy and all that stuff. Like, before she ever said, like, I'll put a flute in my pussy or, like, showed any kind of, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, you know, I'm going to be sex crazed and all this stuff. Before she did any of that, I was like, give me the band girl. Give me that redheaded little dorky band girl. I will tear her up. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> you know, yeah, look at that. See, I'd take her. Fuck the other girl. Fuck Nadia. Fuck Elizabeth Shannon or whatever her name is. Give me this girl. Didn't she go on? She went on to uh, do How I Met Your Mother after American Pie. And she's in all four American Pies. And by the way, like, the new American Pie came out in, uh... When did the new one come out? It was only a couple of years ago. It was... I liked all of them. I really liked American Pie 3, though. That was, uh... I'll never forget being in school. Now, all the other American Pies, like the Beta House and the Naked Mile and all those, like, spin-off American Pies, Band Camp, all that stuff... That was dumb as shit. I wasn't into that. That was like, those were like, you know, the raunchy, stupid, 
college comedy movies. They like who cares? What, what's it, what's interesting is the original cast and how they play the comedy and everything. Yeah, American Reunion is what they called it. So there's four. There's really only four American Pies. Like for the people that are watching, they're like, I never really watched American Pie. There's four American Pies you need to care about that have the original cast. All the other ones are all like throughout the years they released Beta House and American Pie, like naked fucking chariots of fire. I don't know. But American Pie 1, 2, American Pie 3, which is American Wedding, and American Pie 4, American Reunion. Uh, they just did a good job. I thought they were funny. 2012 was American Reunion. Wow. It's like seven years ago now. Holy shit. I can't believe that. It was like seven years ago. Uh, me and Leah went to see it in the movie theater because we were like, I can't believe they made another. We were saying, like, I can't believe they made another American Pie. American Reunion. It was a reunion. And they brought back the entire cast because they didn't have the full cast in uh, in the third movie. So it was nice that they brought back the it's I believe like most of the entire cast to the to the episode four. In fact, I'm gonna go watch them now. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go watch American Pie tonight. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but yeah, f all these crybabies nowadays. They're such pussies. Like this world is full of pussies. Um, can you imagine if like a war broke out or something like that? Like a real war, like a world war. For some reason broke out. You know what I mean? And our, and our countries are fighting and it became like to the point where like the citizens had to fight a little bit too and shit was getting weird. Can you imagine these people trying to defend themselves or something like that? I mean, like, I don't want to defend myself. I don't want to have to grab a weapon. I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't last very well either. But I mean, these people would really get fucked up. They really wouldn't know what the hell's going on. God damn. Anyway, we'll see you next time, guys. My name is Joe Cronin. This is Corrupted Nation. Here's some videos you might have missed from this week here on Corrupted Nation. And uh, hit me up on Twitter at CorruptedPod. And if you want to support what I do, please become a patron and check out all the stuff that I upload on Patreon that you can't hear on uh, YouTube. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show.